Good day, everybody, and welcome to Brian Tewitt and Sunday Praise. And of course, I'm Brian Tewitt. And joining us once again is our my beautiful wife, Evangelist Anita Hewitt, the anointed and appointed one. And today we're going to be speaking of your righteousness and the peace that righteous, righteousness can, can bring throughout the world. To, from your from your home to your street corners to your grocery stores to to be the ever so strong presence in the world and brethren we live in such a world that we need to pray daily so before we get going we're going to be in Romans 14 Romans 14 and let's get a clean sheet and notebook paper and, and a pen we're going to be doing some top dancing through the scriptures and let's go before the throne of God and pray. Dear Jesus, we love you. We lay our hearts before you. You are the reason why we live from the secrets of the heart. We thank you for the unity of the Holy Spirit to be of one mind and one judgment of Christ. We thank you for your love, your truth, and how your truth sets us free. We thank you for all that you're doing to us and all that you're saying to us in Jesus' matchless name. So remember, brethren, the good Lord sends down fresh mercies upon you, you, every day yet we must lift up our prayers repentance and forgiveness romans 14 17 14 17 for the kingdom of god is not food and drink but righteousness and peace and joy in the holy spirit so it is not so much what we digest as far as what we do who we know how many times we go to church or, or concerned that because we've sinned too much that we have lost our righteousness or we're concerned too much that we don't pray enough it is our righteousness and peace peace which many many people do not realize is a gift from God it comes down to our our innermost being our soul which is the centerpiece of our existence. So wherever we breathe, wherever we turn our lives, that soul is facing that particular experience. And that particular experience will, whether it's temptation of sin, or that we are living in the righteousness of God. We are getting strengthened by the Word of God. We are being in new company. We are being away from an old lifestyle. And again, I say from much experience is that let those clowns who came from your past some 20, 30, 40, even 10 years ago, a year ago, tap on your shoulder and say, I remember when you did this drug or when you were party hardy. Well, before Paul was Paul, he was Saul. And the good Lord changed him with his grace, with his love, with his truth. And the righteousness and the peace of the Lord Jesus Christ came into him. And he killed over a thousand Christians. So all of us had our own experience being Saul. Male, females, everybody. And God can change you into your own Paul. And with that, brethren, with this time, God's love, God's truth, brings us to his ever so glory and his powerful word, word that we have. Galatians 5.22, But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, forbearance, kindness, goodness, and faithfulness. To be faithful ever so much <clears throat> to our Lord, but most important to ourselves to our families, to know what is in control, what is not in control with our mindsets, to set in the strength and the liberty that we all have. For in the days when Daniel was alive, 244, in the days of these things that shall, the king shall, and in the days of these kings shall the God of heaven set up a kingdom. And the kingdom is at hand. The kingdom is all, all around you. 
in front of you, wants to be inside of you. And that, that that kingdom is, is the spirit of the Lord Jesus. But as you move every day <clears throat> with the headlines showing of what the end times that we are living in, this is no joke. This is not something to laugh at or to snicker at. But to move away from being judged or judging, to move away from, from anything that's a stumbling block, pulling you back, to walk away from those paths that, are, that are, are basically trying to get in your way, you've got the Lord Jesus Christ. Get them out of your way by, by the power of prayer. Let the Lord deal with them. You don't have to do anything to them. You don't have to put a fist on their cheeks. You don't have to blast them over Facebook. The Lord Jesus will take care of them. And with this, brethren, we come into all lives and your lives with that endless rhyme called love. His truth and his time and his kingdom is going to be so so powerful. Luke fourteen, fifteen. But when one of them that sat at meat and heard him say these things, and it's, what a what a blessing it will be to attend the banquet in the kingdom of, of God. It shall be a blessing, brethren. That's from the uh, New Living Translation. We seek, we love, and we feel. We come into God's love, and we seek His healing and His understanding. We are healed by His Holy Spirit. We move into His everlasting love and His kingdom and His truth. And we come into each time all that we have and all that we do. Revelation 19.9 The angel said to John, the angel said to me, Write this, blessed are those who are invited to the wedding supper of the Lamb. And he added, these are the true words of God. The true words of God can only really echo loud into your heart as you move into the righteousness and peace of God. You walk away from the old, move into the new. Walk into that substance of truth. Or walk away from everything. Because brethren, we're living in the end times where I can tell you that brother will turn against brother, sister against brother at times, and sister against sister. And it is can be quite pathetic at times how people want to get ahead of time and screw everybody and say, well, we're doing this for you. Well, they're not really doing anything for you, but they're just trying to hurt you. But you get the power of the Holy Spirit. Just flick them off from your shoulders like they're dandruff and move on. It's time to sing. It's time to love His truth. It's time to be that blessing that we all have. The blessings that we all need. In the Mat's name of Jesus. Brethren, some many decades ago, at a healing service in Western New York, <clears throat> I became born again. Of course, you know, you're fresh, new, read the Bible maybe once, had all the answers. But <clears throat> as I would progress and, and 
be in Bible studies, I knew I couldn't do this alone. So God sent his own people to mold me, to, to have me edify myself with the Word of God. That decision is probably one of the greatest decisions I ever made as far as coming forward in a public ceremony and turning my life over to the Lord. Sometime later, in a shelter in upstate New York, I had become an assistant pastor, be ordained, as a minister, a call to his duty, yet there was still more to learn. So as we grow, and as we flow, and as we share, very much like a bottle of wine, the Lord wants to put a new spirit within that new heart, the new born-again you. But he's not going to put anything new in that old wineskin of sin that you have been wearing. Nothing will be new. So for the, all, of, all of you who can do your best to repeat this off to me, <clears throat> we'd like all of you to share the invitation to come into the Lord and to know the Lord in Jesus' name. Dear Lord, I know I am a sinner. I acknowledge that you are the Son of God that came down to this earth to preach and teach, to, to bring those into your fold and to rise again on the third day and to give us eternal glory. You have forgiven us. When you said, said on the cross, it, it is finished. All concerns for everything from our from from our past to our future to our present day to our bills to our health it is finished and you died for the punishment of our sins and gave us your, your beautiful truth and your beautiful embrace on that cross in Jesus mountainous name I, I lay myself on the altar of yours O Lord take me love me I'm yours brethren if you said that prayer as my wife prays your name in the background, I'm praising your name. Hallelujah. Most important, the angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. Yes, the Lord. angels of heaven are singing your name before the throne of God. Yes, you can do this. And you can feel this. And you can make that move into his ever so powerful truth, into his ever so powerful glory. In Jesus' matchless name. And brethren, we come into this time by just sharing that a full name of our ministry is Morning Star Communication Network, MC Ministries. Do come to visit us at BrianTrude.com, BrianTrude.com. And if you wish to send us a, a love gift, you can click on our contact link, make the check payable to Morning Star Communication Network, uh, MC Ministries. Or you can just send us a donation link at under donate at com. We sing of his time, God's love. God's righteousness and peace is upon you. Open up your heart, lift up to the heavens. You've got a new life and a new world all around you. And that new life is not yesterday, but the day before or an hour ago. It is the faith which is the now and now of faith. Let's go before the throne of God and pray out. Dear Jesus, we love you. Well, our hearts before you are the reason why we live from the secrets of our heart. We thank you for the unity, Holy Spirit, to be of your one mind and one judgment of Christ. We thank you for your time, your endless rhyme that brings us to all of eternity in Jesus' matchless name. And brethren, on behalf of my anointed and appointed wife, Anita Hewitt, and myself, Brother Brian Hewitt, we thank you for your time until next time. And on behalf of all of us, here at MC Ministries and around the world. We love you in the name of the Lord. And we walk by faith and not by sight. Au revoir, adios, good day for the people. And praise God, praise God, and praise God.